Welcome to the Practice You podcast. My name is Elena Brower. Together, we'll explore and enjoy content and conversations around mastering transitions. In our relations, our wellness, our careers, our families, and especially in our missions and visions. You are invited to learn and love and listen with me. Welcome to Practice You. Welcome back to the podcast. I have with me a dear, longtime friend who has changed the face of fitness, I feel. Her name is Melissa Wood. And she is a dynamo, a wizard, a beauty, a heart of gold. Welcome to the podcast, Melissa. Ah, Elena, I have the biggest smile on my face. Thank you so much for that warm welcome and for having me here with you. Yes, yes. So I wanted to talk to you because I'm very interested in people who have upended things in a really positive way. And what I feel like you've done, starting with what I think, I think you started on Instagram. Mm -hmm. You've completely upended the fitness industry. I think that you have single-handedly done that. Wow. You've created, yeah, because I watched you. And what I saw happen was nothing short of magnificent. You took free workouts that you were giving to people all the time. You created a loyal student body who fell in love with your goofiness, <laughs> your beauty, your total understanding and wisdom of the body, and your creativity when it comes to fitness. And you gave them a new lease on life. You gave them a new body. You gave them a new understanding of what it means to actually move and be well. I'm really curious to, to hear how this happened. Oh, wow. I mean, hearing you describe it like that is just, I've never had anyone describe it in that way. So I thank you. That like yes. touches me so deeply because, you know, I, I, I did, I started sharing these little snippets of my workouts on Instagram after I had my son. And prior to that, I was really torturing myself in every aspect of my life. You know, I thought that I had to do at least an hour of cardio, of strength training a day. So two hours a day I was doing for many years of my life. And I was miserable. I was so unhappy. And I wasn't only torturing myself, you know, physically, I was with food and mentally. And it just, it got to the point after having my first baby where I was like, there has to be another way. Like there has to be an enjoyable way to feel good in your body. And the more that I I got centered within myself, because I was the furthest thing from being centered, I was someone who always ran pretty anxious, felt anxious, um, mm. you know, definitely veered on the side of depression and just really attaching myself to all the negative thought patterns that unfortunately um, I learned as a child and just carried through adulthood. And then once I started meditating daily and it helped me really tap into this essence within myself and listening to my body in a way I had never done. I honestly didn't even know was capable. I know you hear people like, listen to yourself. And you're, I'm like, well, this is what myself is telling me at the time, you know, to, to run for two, two hours a day. And, you know, it, was, it wasn't even what myself was telling me. It was what society was telling me and what other individuals in the space were telling me. And, when I started marrying these two forms of movement that made me feel literally like I could fly, I, I knew I had to share it. And I had no idea what I was doing. <laughs> you know, I really, I, I share that with like just so much truth and love because mm. there was never a, like a business plan in place. I, I had no, I, I was never thinking like I'm creating a method and a business, you know, it was never, that was never my intention, although it beautifully molded into that because my intention was always just to 
first and foremost, like teach myself how to feel good and to show up like that daily and then to share that with people and, and really, you know, just watch how it resonated with people. I knew that this was something that like I had, I discovered was the most fulfilling thing for me in my life besides like being a mother and having my baby. I, I, I always wanted something for myself. You know, as I think it's like, it's our, our soul's purpose to find what fulfills us. And it, it really started there. I mean, it started from just like tapping into myself and all of the things that lit me up in a way that I had never done before in my entire life. I feel, um, first of all, I feel like a proud big sister right now. <laughs> um, I feel like you have a, a sweetness and a kindness that I'm not sure might come through to somebody who's just looking at your website for the first time. So if you're listening to this and you're like, oh, I, I don't need this, I would just encourage you, please look at melissawoodhealth.com. You will look at her and you will see basically a supermodel. What I need you to know if you're listening to us right now is this particular supermodel looking human is actually like exactly a dork on wheels like me <laughs> who, who cares so much about what you feel and look like. And if you happen to take a few moments to peruse her site, you'll see all of the testimonials were actually the reason why I had the thought to do this with you. Um, you've changed people's lives by taking them out of the rat race gym you have to do this for 40,000 hours a week to if you have 10 or 20 minutes you can actually start to create a leaner stronger more resilient body and mind frankly yes. uh, in a really short period of time so I'm just really proud of you you have now several pictures actually online that blow my mind. Carly is one of the best ones. Mm. Um, yes. Just so beautiful to see women who go from, you know, they're really uncomfortable in their skin mm -hmm. to guess what? It takes only a few minutes a day and a little bit of humor and you have a completely new body. What I would love to know now is you've morphed into sort of a membership platform, which I really support because as your big sister, I love you giving out free stuff, yeah. but I also like you, you know, earning a living. Right. Um, the monthly is so generous. You're giving them for $9.99 a month. You're giving them 200 plus disparate workouts, including one free brand new workout per week. Two now. <laughs> two now. Oh it's my God. two now for a year. What? I've been doing two a week. Wow. What yeah. days do they drop? Every Monday and every Friday. Monday and Friday. Okay, got it. What's fun is that I promised myself that when I got you on the podcast, I actually have a trainer with whom I work virtually a few times a week because I have to do weights. I'm already 50 years old, so I have to like pay attention with like kettlebells and stuff. And he's like all kinds of overly qualified to train me. But I promised myself that as soon as we talked, I was going to start working on your site once a week. Oh, yes. <laughs> I'm excited to hear that. I'm really excited to do it also. Um, but that was my promise to myself. So today is the day I'm actually going to do a workout right after we get off the phone. Oh, um, I love that. I'm excited. You are you are also trained with IIN, uh, Institute for Integrative Nutrition, and yeah. you also do other things. If you're a member of Melissa's site, you're also getting meditation, you're getting nutrition as well. Can you speak a little bit to all of that? Because I think my listener is going to be very interested in that. Sure. So I, yes, like when I first like was moving everything off sharing like these clips on Instagram to, you know, I wanted everything to live in one place where it was categorized and easy for the user to really find whatever workout was best for them. So when I priced my workouts at $9.99, that was one thing for me that was essential in creating this space and this platform for people to come to me because I never wanted it to be a question for people to take care of themselves. You know, I, I understand 
other platforms have other price points, but this was just one thing for me. You know, I was thinking about my like younger self and the first thing that mm-hmm. I bought myself when I lived in Syracuse, I lived in a small town, was a gym membership. And it was like, it broke the bank for me. And mm-hmm. it was like, I could barely put gas in my car at the time. I was really young and I never wanted this to be anything that people have to question when when they look at their statements. And so in creating the the workouts, it, it really did start with sharing the workouts because I'll be honest with you, uh, as a former model, a former actress, I cared mostly about how I looked. But what I discovered through the process of really evolving to this place is that it all really starts in the mind. And once I really carved out this commitment to my meditation practice is when everything transformed for me. And, Mm. you know, where it started sharing the workouts, I knew, and this is where you come in, Alina. I don't even know that um, you were, oh my goodness. Like we had a conversation the first time I met you. I don't know if you remember. It was a- On the Bowery. Yes. On the Bowery. You were leading a meditation. It was with Saqqara. And I was, first of all, like, I don't get starstruck. I worked at Marquia, where we did on every <laughs> A-list celebrity, mm-hmm. but like being in Elena Brower's presence, I was like, mm. you, I mean, it's true. You just, you have this thing. And I was such a different person back then than I am today. And while I'm still growing, I just remember being like, you know, how do I, how do I embody that? Like, like, what do you do? You know, and it's, it's through the work, it's through the work. And then after when you and I locked eyes, this was so crazy, you guys, because I remember. I, I mean, when I look at Elena, I'm like, you're like my long lost sister. We are somehow related. <laughs> I'm like, I don't know what it is, but our face, I'm like, there's just something within your spirit that I've always been drawn to. So you and I locked eyes. You called me over and I looked over my shoulder because I wasn't sure if you were talking to me. And you're like, yes, come here. And you were just so down to earth and so welcoming and lovely. And and I said to you, you know, what do you recommend? I really, I really want to start teaching meditation and I've done workshops and I've done things, but you know, what who do you recommend I practice with? And you looked at me and you said, It is all within you. It is yeah. all in here. You need to trust yourself. And I I mean, I literally like it like brings me to tears because that was such a pivotal moment for me in owning who I am and allowing myself to come forth. So through, I mean, it's true. I shortly started sharing my meditations after that. And it's not, it's yes, you gave me this permission, almost like this, you know, like this motherly figure that I looked up to and and it- it just allowed me to step in. So I started sharing them and, you know, I am so grateful because I know for, for myself, listen, I love to move my body. There is nothing I love more than doing a flow and feeling phenomenal after. But I will tell you, if I had to choose between a workout and a meditation, I would pick a meditation. And I'll Mm. tell you why, because when I meditate, it allows me to see clearly. And in that grounded presence, you find, like for me, like today, walking home from school, dropping my son off at school, I did a little standing little park series. If I didn't meditate before that, I would have been like, I I don't have time. And then like the day runs you instead of you running the day. And it's just, it's amazing. So Mm. I had to share that story. I was so excited to share that story today because it's just, I like vividly remember everything. Like I remember what you were wearing. I remember your hair. I remember your eyes. And I just, I've always been in awe of you. So just like being here and talking with you today and just being, truly having you as a mentor in my life has been really something that's helped me really step in. And I I mean that, Elena, with everything. Wow. That is a, that is a real, a real touching compliment and I'll take it all the way home. Please take it. It's just what you want to hear from your little baby sister. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, are we not related? Like, are we have to be. Or we have to be related. Like, there's I mean, just... I'm the I'm the lucky one in the looks <laughs> department if I'm related to you. No, definitely. Please. Oh, my God. <laughs> You're just a beauty. I mean, everything. <sighs> 
And I will say one last thing about the nutrition component. So currently, all of my recipes are live on my website and I share those all for free. However, I am definitely in the space of really um, bringing everything under, you know, giving everyone more. That's all I'll say. I'm, in the, I'm, I'm you like know, cultivating it. even more information content to just continue to give, give, give what everyone continues to ask for. Love. Love yes. this. Thank you. Mm-hmm. And it also seems like you've done a really good job of curating a few different companies with whom you work, whom you endorse mm-hmm. to share them with your viewers and your, your members on your site. And I love seeing that because I think a lot of companies get lost in the mix. And if we have you know people who are watching and paying attention on social media, and we can share some of these smaller companies with them, everybody wins. Of course. Um, it's it's really sweet, the, the higher dose. I love wilding. Oh, um, yes. It's just so nice to see all of our, you know, friends in Saqqara. Oh, yes. Um, Ona, so many great brands. Our Place, just yep. beautiful. Amazing brands. I mean, when I, you know, when I started in this space, I... I don't connect to the word influencer and there is nothing wrong with it. It's just for me, I was like, I don't know. I, it doesn't, it doesn't feel in alignment. However, I started, you know, brands would reach out and they would send me these products and I, I would try everything. And I mean, really try and test and experiment with them and then Mm -hmm. fall in love with them and just have this, like, I need to share these products. And then in sharing them truly just organically and authentically, we establish these incredible partnerships of working together and like me falling in love with the founders and their mission. And it's been an incredible entity to my business. That was never like the driving force, but it's been such an, it's, it's so complimentary. And I love sharing the small businesses and brands that, you know, maybe you wouldn't have been introduced to. So it's, it's phenomenal to be able to be in this space and do that. Yeah, it's beautiful. Um, any last thoughts regarding the best ways to navigate your site? Let's say someone who's listening to us, they're like, all right, I'm i I'm in. I want to try it for a month. <laughs> sure. I want to spend 10 bucks and I want to commit to my body. Yes. What's the best way to start in the site itself? That's such a great question. So first and foremost, you can sign up for the seven-day free trial and you can cancel at any time. I wanted mm-hmm. to make the cancellation process as seamless as possible. So that no one felt that they were locked in. And then, you know, once you become a member, I always recommend, even if you have a history of being an athlete or being um, just into fitness for years, I like for everyone to start in the beginner section of the workouts. Mm -hmm. And that's really because... I mean, they're my favorite because it's all goes back to just like the philosophy of slowing things down, learning how to connect with your body, to adjust your form. Form is everything. I'm I'm not a big believer in, you know, pounding yourself into the ground where your form is compromised and then you're not seeing the results that you want. So I always love to have everyone start in the beginner section. And I always say, don't be fooled by the word beginner because it's really just terminology so that people feel welcome and beginner friendly, but they are very effective. And then, you know, really playing around with the categories because I share such a wide range of flows and meditations. And it's truly from the feedback from my members, you know, Mm. I always say at the end of every flow, um, you know, please share your feedback with me. It fuels everything that I've done up into this point. So You know, if you see a five minute meditation or a power arms and abs, those types, those style of workouts and meditations are truly, you know, I'm, I'm led by my, my members. Like, you know, although I'm guiding them, it's like, they're also guiding me. So I'm a student just as well. And you always say this too. It's like a student, a teacher, it, it's really all one and, it, you know, and, and for me, it's when I have 10 minutes to myself and I'll do 
a 10 minute arms and abs series and you're like, there is no way 10 minutes is impactful. And then you do it and you're like, but there is. And that's, that's what I want everyone to feel. It's, it's Mm -hmm. this consistency within yourself and within showing up for your practice and honoring this space that really makes us all better. It just makes us more just tapped into this beautiful essence of who we really are. And it's, it's hard to see in that light when you're not there, because I'll be the first to admit that I was like, Oh, what about this essence? And then, you know, I, I never believed it because I was living in such a negative, just my mind and my thought patterns were negative And I attached myself to that way of thinking that bled into my entire life. So I try to really make everything inviting because I never want anyone to feel like, oh, these are too hard or they're not hard enough and in and, and sharing a, a great range for everyone who comes to me. And I think the last thing and might be the most important question I've got, what the hell <laughs> is a salad dressing shaker? <laughs> That's the most important question because That's so all funny. I know is I've, <laughs> I've resourced and researched all of your dressings and I love them all. But I basically just put everything into a little sort of pitcher and then I use my hand blender and I blend <laughs> like that. Can you please teach me what this means? You're so cute. It's I got it at Bed Bath & Beyond. It's yeah. literally just like, think of almost like a shaker for alcohol but it has Mm -hmm. the little lever that you can pull back and then you can pour out however much you want. (laughs) I'm sending you one. I'm sending you one. That's it. I'm writing it down. I I just can't. (laughs) I can't stand it. I'm just like, mix all ingredients together in a salad shaker. What does that mean? (laughs) I was like so so excited for this. I'm like, what is the question? (laughs) I'm sending you one. It's not my product, but it's a wonderful product. (laughs) I'm super into it. I'm super into it. It's great. There are a few other great things about the food section that I just want to highlight for our listener right now. Everything that you ever wanted to know how to cook plant-based, she's got. And (laughs) what I think, what I think is fun about you, and I've said this in some way already a couple of times, but I'm going to say it again. Nothing is too finished here. No, no, You would think that it would be like (laughs) all sort of like perfect and oh my God, everything's just so... And really, it's actually not, and that's the magic about it. <laughs> that's that's what makes it exciting for me. Like when I'm like, all right, what the fuck salad <laughs> dressing do I want to have right now? I'm going to go look at Melissa. And always there's an idea. You have everything. You have the flaxseed omega dressing, which is great. The creamy Dijon, which is great. The simple salad dressing, so good. That's my Carrot favorite. So yeah, I mean, all of it. It's just, <laughs> it's, it's super practical. And I, you know, I, in a way, what I would like to be for folks who want to get into an online business space in a way that's realistic and fun and sweet and heartfelt, you are for folks who want to get well. Mm-hmm. Definitely. You are that. And it's a real sweet thing to have a one-stop shop. And I've been using it, you know, just off membership for, for months, just, you know, going in and <laughs> use, using the recipes. But now I'm excited. I'm literally going to start working out with you. In the next 10 minutes. I mean, having Elena say that, I'm just like, I'm so flattered. And one last thing too, coming from a recovering perfectionist, one of the biggest things that stood in my way, and I'm telling you, when I started in this space years ago, I wanted to start years before that, but my perfectionism stood in the way of me moving forward because I didn't build the site because it wasn't perfect. I didn't take the photos because the photos I I took were not perfect. And the more that I got in alignment with the truth of who I really am, the more I cared less. I was like, you know what? I mean, I started sharing my workouts in my living room on a $24 tripod with no lighting, no editing, no sound. I worked out with you then. I way. mean, they were raw as and raw. And they were awesome. And, and, and you know what? But it was me. And I started in that way after I had to have many breakthrough moments of just letting go of this idea that I painted in my mind because 
you know, I, I was someone who was always striving for perfection from the outside, from the inside. And then when I was like, you know what, forget it. I'm just going to share it as it is when I make it. No photographer on hand. We're not doing food shoots. This is made and <laughs> photos are taken in, in real time. And I think that's one thing that resonated with people, right? Because it was that, um, it's, it, it gave, almost allowed this like approachability for people to be like, oh, this isn't so perfect, you know? <laughs> totally. Totally. It's, it's, it's my favorite thing. Oh, thank you. Um, yeah. No, thank you so much for being here. I want to just say a huge thanks to you. A uh, huge thanks for all of the work and time and effort that you've put in. Now you have two kids and still going strong and not I think the last point really truly is there isn't evidence of you overworking or overextending yourself. The evidence is based on what's around us and what I see of you is you're a great mother, you're efficiently using what you have to raise them, and you are creating resources for people that are really useful, that are super relevant and not overdone. And I really can't thank you enough. Oh, Elena, I can't thank you. Thank you mm. so much from the mm. bottom of my heart for saying mm. all of that, for having me here, for sharing me in this way. It's, yes. it's really my absolute pleasure. Thank you. And I love you. And I will see you as soon as possible. I hope so. I love you too. Love you.